family status. I hope everyone having a great morning, great evening, great afternoon. Today we're going to find out how long it takes for food scraps to decompose when you bury them in the garden. So today we're going to bury our food scraps 8 inches deep right here in between our watermelons. And these are sugar baby watermelons. So in our food scrap bucket we got mushrooms, bananas, peppers, apples, lettuce, corn, and oranges. And this is basically how to add compost directly to your garden. That's exactly eight inches, so that's perfect. Let's bury our food scraps. So what do you guys think is gonna take the longest to decompose? Now let's cover it up and see how long it take to compost. And we gonna put an X right here so we don't forget. And that's where our food scraps are. Can't wait to see the results. And check it out, we also have three other watermelon plants over here. One, two, three. And these are crimson sweet. So it's been three weeks, 23 days to be exact, since we buried our food scraps directly in the garden. I wonder what's gonna be fully decomposed and what's not. Let's check it out and find out. So remember, we buried our food scraps right there in the middle of our sugar baby watermelons. Remember how they used to look? Look at them now. I think they might be ready. I think they might be ready. And now it's time to find out did our food scraps decompose directly in the garden. Let's check it out. We buried them eight inches deep. Can y'all see that? Do I need to zoom in closer? Let me zoom in closer for y'all. I wanted to do everything compost in two weeks. What you guys think? Did it only take 14 days? Because 23 days, everything is definitely gone. Everything. So if you're wondering, can you compost directly in the garden? Yes. Easy. As you can see, we composted right in between our sugar baby watermelons. I think we're gonna harvest this one. So you don't have to just compost in a compost pile or in a compost bin. You can compost directly in the garden. And as you can see, we don't even have any worms in here. And the only reason why I say that is because a lot of people say, do you need worms to compost? No, you don't need worms to compost, but worms definitely help you compost faster. Now we're going to take this to the compost pile. Check it out. Look like a cucumber, zucchini, watermelon or something growing right in the compost pile. Alright, let's go see what this tastes like. Make sure we didn't grow a big cucumber. Oh look, we got a crimson sweet watermelon right there. We grew three different varieties of watermelon. Wonder which one is going to taste the best. Let us know in the comment section if you like crimson sweet watermelon or sugar baby watermelons more. This is prop watermelon. This ain't real. This can't be real. 
It's too good to be real. This is prop food. Don't believe it. It's fake. That right there.